second time around for for Toronto. Um, what, what are you guys talking about? Is how to how to deal with an offense like this that uh, obviously has uh, got a couple of dangerous guys in the league. Yeah, um, I think for us the biggest thing is just you, you still got to believe, right? You know, we have a good hockey team. We've been doing it all year, so I think that's number one point. And then the second part is just like you you said earlier, they they got a great offense. So for us starting back and just kind of staying above the puck when. When we need to be, I think it's a big thing. You can't let that team get odd man rushes because, like you saw last game, they they have guys that can put it in the back of the net. So for us to just kind of do that and, and play our game is going to be important tonight. Despite the outcome in Boston, there were some things though in that first two periods. You think that you can carry over into tonight? Yeah, for sure. I thought we actually played really well. I mean, other than four or five minutes of the game when they kind of took it to us. I mean, and that's that's the biggest lesson is you can't, especially this time of the year against good hockey teams, you can't fall asleep for. You get for a little bit of time, you got to play a full 60 minutes. So, I mean, if we can do that and play the way we did in Boston for the rest of the game, I think we'll, we'll like the results. How, how much this time of year do you guys actually pay attention to the scoreboards uh, around the league? Um, I mean, I'd be lying if I said it's hard not to, but at the end of the day, too, you, you can't get too involved with it. I mean, for us, the biggest thing is just to doing what we can. And I mean, the nice thing is we still control our own destiny. So that's that's the biggest thing looking forward.